I'm gonna document the first time that I'm eating meat right now. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm literally about to plummet into the unknown right now. I don't know how my body's gonna react and I don't see many videos like this on YouTube. I just wanted to make something that is a little different and I've watched why I stopped being vegan, why I stopped being vegetarian, but I haven't seen any how do I feel after I eat meat. I haven't had meat in literally a year and a half. I haven't had any chicken. If I did, it was like unknown, I wasn't aware of it. The reason why I haven't is because I had high amounts of anxiety about a year and a half ago and I figured that if I eliminate meat then the hormones will be eliminated as well which means my anxiety levels will go down which I have to honestly say they did and that's also something I never hear on these YouTube videos because I've watched like probably like 300 videos about this stuff because I want to be aware of what's going on with my body I'm learning about myself and so I watch these videos just so I can get clear understanding of of why. I'm gonna document the first time that I'm eating meat right now. I just left Chipotle and I told the girls that were ringing me up, they're like, oh my gosh, she's like, just don't psych yourself out. You'll feel probably something if you tell yourself you're gonna get sick or something. So I was like, okay. Anyway, I just got like half a scoop of chicken and I just wanna share with you guys really quick. But anyway, just a quick like reason why I'm doing this today. It's so funny because all these girls, all these vegans and vegetarians, they start out the video saying, with like disclaimers like, this is why, please don't comment your hate comments, but I get why they do that, but it's really ultimately my decision what I do with my body. I'm only on this planet for like a short time and I have to figure out my body. So. If I get sick and if I feel this isn't the right choice for me, then I'll just go back to what I was doing, which was being a vegetarian. So let's get to it. <laughs> this is like really scary, you guys. I'm just gonna pull this chapoodle bag on up here and we're gonna do this together. I'm sorry it's loud. <sighs> I'm so nervous. I got half a scoop of chicken. I got a little bit of corn, which I never get. I just got that to like spice it up. I got a little bit of lettuce and some white rice, which I normally never get. So this is, this is happening right now. This is scary. Okay, you guys are probably like, take the bite already. Like, I hate you right now. I can't, I can't psych myself out because it's just gnarly. Okay, so here it is. Oh my god. This is gonna be so weird. And girls that have like started eating meat again, they're probably like, you idiot, just eat it. <laughs> hmm. I need to take these off even though I look like death right now. I'm sorry you guys. I just worked out today and I didn't put on makeup because I just didn't feel like it. It's usually how I feel. Okay. It's pretty good. My only disclaimer here, I'm not gonna sit here and apologize for my for me being myself. I'm just not. Like if you guys want to comment below, go ahead. Like I I'm more than happy to hear your opinion and I'm not gonna shut you down at all. Like if you're mean then that's because you want to be mean but it's a choice you don't have to be mean I don't think I'm ever gonna eat beef again if I do I'll do another video about that but I don't think I'm gonna eat red meat because I've watched too many documentaries where they're just doing really horrible things to the cows I've watched every single documentary out there about animal abuse and all kinds of stuff and I I literally can't handle a lot of it and I honestly think that it's, there's just so much horrible things happening and I totally understand that. I just feel like this is a personal choice that I'm making because I feel like crap, you guys. Like I can't even explain how bad my health is deteriorating. I feel horrible every day. Just so you guys know, I take B12 organic spray vitamin. I take the, the D3 vegan. I take both the vegans from organic, whatever it's called, from Sprouts. I take those and I spray them under my tongue. I also um, make sure that I keep up on my iron. I'm taking plenty of protein, stuff like that. I've done all kinds of research. I, I'm educated and I know the supplements that I need to take. It's just, I still feel like crap. I'm gonna let my body just chill right now. <sighs> Cause I don't know if this is sitting with me yet. This is like freaking scary. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes, and I know that probably isn't enough time to like tell if I'm gonna feel sick or not, but 
So far, I don't feel sick. <laughs> I know I'm driving right now. Just trust me, there's like literally no one ahead of me. I'm good. And I'm just gonna focus on the road so you guys don't think I'm gonna crash. But anyways, um, I feel fine. Like I, I feel like I, like I did a good service to my body and I honestly wouldn't have done this for any other reason than health reasons. And I see a lot of videos about that at least, about like people, you know, eating meat again because they just felt like so lethargic. I'm just honestly tired of eating the same crap over and over again, you guys. I'm sick to death of quinoa and chickpeas, like, <laughs> and, and pinto beans. Like, I'm sick to death of, like, just eating all these carbs. I'm sick to death of soy. Like, I don't want to eat any more tofu, you know what I mean? So that, I guess, in itself is another reason why I chose to do this, because I need to change. I'm going to stop whining, but I just want you guys to know, like, plenty of love out there, you know? Like, if you guys are vegan and vegetarian, please, by all means, continue what you're doing if it works for you. Like, I, I feel like the first year of... And I don't even know if I'm going to eat meat after this. I may feel crappy in like 15 minutes. The point is, is I'm just really wanting to change it up. And I feel like this will help. This will help me and my body and my symptoms and things like that. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm, it's worth a shot. I'm sure my body's just definitely not used to this. I feel fine so far. A lot of girls that go vegan or vegetarian, they're just trying to figure out their body. Like they're trying to figure out their health issues. Now some people have health issues and they just want to fix their health issues. If some people can't have dairy or something like that, it's something that they do to eliminate that because they're suffering. A lot of people either just don't want to abuse animals and they don't want the cruelty or they feel like crap and they want to change their diet because they just want to feel better. And I totally understand and I respect that. So to all the people that are on here that are watching this video like I love you guys and I respect you guys for the decisions you're making I remember okay this is something I remember about meat when you eat meat because it takes a lot longer for your body to like digest it and process it it can make you feel kind of like like weighed down and sluggish so I feel like that right now I feel kind of weighed down and sluggish anyway I don't I, I'm not gonna eat meat every day I think I'm just gonna eat chicken or turkey like maybe three times a week something like that I'm just kind of get my body back to like normal it might even be two times a week right now I don't know I was already eating fish so I guess you can consider me a pescatarian but I didn't eat fish very often so I just technically called myself a, a vegetarian you know I just I really respect the people who can just go full out vegan. I love the people that can go raw vegan. Like that to me is like so bold. I just can't have that much fruit or sugar because my heart starts to physically hurt. I can't do the whole eight banana thing and the whole like nine kiwis. I just can't roll that way. I can't live on acai bowls. I mean, if I lived on some tropical island and I maybe adjusted my body to that, maybe. If this video goes viral and I'm not wearing makeup, I'm gonna be pissed, you guys. Like freaking pissed. <laughs> But anyways, I, sh I just love you guys and I started my YouTube channel because I just wanted to create an atmosphere for myself and for people where, where we can come together and collaborate and I wanted to be creative in my own way because I'm also a musician and a singer. So this is a whole nother way that I can focus on my creativity. With that said, I'm gonna go now because this is a long video. I just want you all to know that it's important to cherish your body. It's important to take care of your body. Everything is trial and error and sometimes you don't know what is going on with your body you don't know how to fix it and you can't afford a nutritionist or you can't afford to go to the doctor or whatever say you don't have health insurance so you kind of have to start doing the process of elimination you have to see what it is that's bothering your body and you have to start by doing something about it whether that be eliminating chocolate if you're having too much caffeine if you're getting the shakes you're not sleeping whether it be drinking too much caffeine or having too much sugar. These are things that you have to eliminate to kind of figure out like your body and yourself. That's a part of self-love. And I'll just close with this. Like it's all about self-love. It's all about discovering your body and how it works and learning to love yourself in the process of it all. Because life is short, you guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's short and you just don't know. So just do what you do what you feel is right for you. If you choose to love your body, then then love your body and treat it right. That's all I gotta say.
So if you guys like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and just tap on that little notification bell so you guys can get more videos of mine in the future. And normally I do vlogs and I had to connect with you guys and I had to tell y'all what I did because this is this was a big deal to me, okay? This was like righteous. There's a weird man lurking in the shadows. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I love my dog so I gotta see her. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.